Hello guys and welcome to different Russia channel. We continue with you our bicycle tour around a small provincial town which is called Fryazina in Moscow region. The links to all the previous episodes you may find in the description under the video. Right now we are near the station, which is called Fryazina Pasajerske. In Fryazina we have two train stations, Fryazina Tavarne and Fryazina Pasajerske. Right now we are going in the direction of Fryazina Pasajerske. That is the final stop of the train. I have already shown you of this station, but right now we have some renovations here. So let's go to have a look what is new on our station right now. They are doing the platform, the tiles, you see? And this platform is wooden. Here I filmed one of my first videos. It is... I don't know why, but that is the most popular video on my channel. Almost. 300,000 views so I can't believe really now all the trains go to Moscow from another station and this station is so some trains start from here maybe just a few maybe five or six trains during a day and the rest of the trains start from what I do not like in our trains, we have no toilets. That is really a big problem. And also they do not announce the information in English. That is also a problem for tourists. You see, all the carriages are typical. One is loud, makes a lot of noise. You see, the carriages are a little bit different. If you see such, I don't know, <laughs> a horn, so that means that there is not a lot of noise inside. And these carriages are even. The first carriage is very loud, the second is without much noise. I think I should go this way, just not to carry my bicycle. There is a ramp for ramps, for bicycles, some garbage. Давай, 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 давай! Давай! Эх, успел, молодец! That is the ticket office. You may buy tickets here in some special machine. If I'm not mistaken, also only on the Russian language. And here is the ticket office. But we shall go with you to the stadium. Yeah, guys, the absence of toilets is really a huge problem. In Moscow, all the toilets, in the center of Moscow, almost all the toilets are for money. 50, 60, 70 rubles. I think it is rather expensive for ordinary people just to pay for toilets. For foreigners, I think one dollar is not very big money, but for Russians, 
60, 70 rubles, rather expensive. So that is why it is rather difficult to travel with uh, small kids, for example, because they always want to go to the toilet. The problem with toilets in Moscow and in Moscow region, I think, is one of the main problems for tourists and for citizens who live here. I get many questions from people who are going to visit Russia, and one of the most popular questions is about safety. Is it dangerous for foreign tourists to visit Russia? I have told you many times that I can't tell you about the whole Russia because I live in Moscow and that is why in all my episodes I tell you about the life here in Moscow and in Moscow region. If we are talking about this particular area, I think it is not as dangerous as many other big cities. Some time ago I watched a small episode about France, to be more particular about Paris, and they said that there are some extremely dangerous neighborhoods in Paris where the police are afraid to go. If we are talking about Moscow and Moscow region, we do not have such neighborhoods, such areas. All the areas are pretty safe for tourists. Of course, I do not recommend you to go alone late at night. I do not recommend you to show that you have expensive equipment with you, for example, expensive telephone or expensive video camera or photo camera. I do not recommend you to show that you have a lot of money with you. It is not dangerous, especially during the daytime, to walk along the streets of Moscow. Of course, uh, I do not advise you to drink with <laughs> strangers. Uh, be very attentive towards your things that you have with you. Just be cautious. That is uh, as in any other big city. But be ready that not many people here speak English. That is also one of the big problems of Moscow. There is not enough information on the English language. So that is why if uh, you can't help yourself, if you can't find information yourself, if you can't find your way to this or that place yourself, it will be rather difficult for you because not many people here speak English. But in general, people are very friendly towards foreigners. And if you ask them, uh, well, how to get to this or that place, they will try to help you, but, well, you should know that not many people, especially people of um, old age, they do not speak foreign languages. That is also one of the big problems of Moscow. So guys, thank you for watching. In one of the next episodes we shall continue with you our bicycle tours around Moscow region. And also in one of the next episodes I will show you another train. It is called Aire Express. That is a special train that takes uh, passengers from Moscow to Moscow airports. And also we shall visit with you the Madedova airport, that is one of the three main airports in Moscow. So stay tuned, see you soon in the next episode. Пока! was also the street market. All the green for us. We must hurry. That is Prospect Mira Street. And now we go 
Элонг, советская стрит. 